Hello friends, in this tutorial, you will learn how to install 3SSL on your websites or applications with cloudflare.com. As we have already discussed how to get 3SSL using AWS Certificate Manager in the first tutorial of this 3SSL series. So let's begin. What is Cloudflare? It is a free CDN type product that protects against threats such as SQL injection and identity theft. Cloudflare also improves site performance and speeds of loading time by using their multiple data centers that are located around the world. A good way to think about Cloudflare is to think of it as a web proxy. Why you should use Cloudflare? Well, first of all, it's free and as I told, it offers free CDN content delivery network which improves your website performance. And the best part is you can customize the expiry date of the certificate. The default is 15 years and the minimum you can set is 7 days. It can be integrated with any hosting provider. As I told, it works like a web proxy. So once you create an account and added your website, it's immediately enable HTTPS on your website. You can include up to 100 host names or wildcard host names on a single certificate. Let's go to the cloudflare.com. I am assuming you have the Cloudflare account and if you don't have, then it's very easy to sign off and confirm your account with your valid email ID. This is uh, cloudflare.com. Uh, click on add site. Yes, uh, here you can uh, add your uh, domain. So I'm adding codingx.in, codingx.in and uh, click on add site. Uh, yes, it's loading now. Yes, uh, after that uh, you can select the free and confirm plan. Yes, uh, it will uh, scan all your all your DNS and uh, reflect here. So here uh, my coding X dot in DNS records are reflecting here. So continue this. Uh, click on continue button. Yes. Now uh, this is the DNS uh, name server uh, Cloudflow uh, Cloudflare is providing. So you can replace uh, your uh, name server with Cloudflare name servers. So copy this and go to uh, your uh, domain register but my domain register is godaddy.com so here change name server yes uh, enter my own name server paste here and one more uh, name server is there so copy and here paste yes so save now so uh, it will uh, take some time like uh, you know DNS record is always taking uh, the time to leave uh, time that's a minimum time it's required uh, it may take 24 hour but uh, hardly my case in GoDaddy it's, it's taking uh, very less time one to two hour within half an hour also it's reflecting so go to the cloud flare uh, yes here so for now we will uh, make it flexible uh, let's make it flexible and see uh, how it's working so then always use http on yes then done yes now it's done so it will take time to uh, check the dns and so we will uh, i will skip this video yes it's changed now i will skip this video and check uh, how it's working so uh, before that you can ch uh, change your uh, ip so my ip is uh, this one yes uh, here yes um, i i this is my IP. I, I have changed this. So we have to wait for some time. 
because uh, it will take uh, minimum half an hour and one hour so you have to wait for it no it's not yet okay yeah uh, here uh, you can see the great news cloudfly is now protecting your site that means your uh, domain is uh, dns uh, is reflecting on cloudfly yes here you can check the https is working for your domain so let's see the uh, certificate now yes the certificate is uh, cloudflare ssl.com so this is uh, issued by cloudflare so you can check also details so that is uh, like uh, last video uh, you also uh, we enabled aws so for this one is this is a coding x dot in dns and it's all by default it's a reflect in your all subdomains also yes so let's uh, go to the ssl and make it uh, full now so we'll also uh, uh, save our origin server also so protect our origin server traffic so create certificate here uh, let's uh, private key is rsa type and uh, certificate validity uh, is 15 years as i said its minimum is 7 days so i choose 15 years next here you have uh, two uh, key uh, so one uh, upper one is your uh, certificate and uh, lower one is your uh, key file so you you can save uh, this these two files in local uh, file so i am saving this one this is the certificate one so let's save it and save less training yeah you can change it your domain name coding x dot in dot pem file yes save so let's save second one also copy yes copy this one and save in local so this uh, local these two file will upload to your server the coding x dot in dot key file dot key file yes save it so i will upload it to our server now it's done so let's make it full ssl that means it will protect your uh, origin server the origin side will cloud flare to origin server uh, traffic so let's go to the uh, server now so i have already uploaded my these two files yes connect to your instance or your any server you have through ssh yeah so let's give him sudo so super user okay clear it now we'll change uh, the virtual uh, yeah you can check now so key file and pm file is already uploaded here so let's uh, go to the virtual uh, host so i will edit that one so my default virtual host 00 uh, hyphen default dot config uh, you can check your uh, domain virtual host also for your server nano it is c apache 2 slash server sites available zero zero hyphen default dot config yes enter 
here is virtual host for it is there so you can do one thing go to origin server and download here is managing origins your certificate is there so according your server you can change uh, means set up that uh, ssl so my um, my case is http apache so these are the multiple option is there so i will click on apache here uh, on the options are there so i will copy this one this virtual host and paste it to local and here i can edit this make it star that's an allow all the ip and the document root is htt uh, barbar dot dot html and my server name is coding x dot in coding x dot in so it's done so ssl so here is a certificate file and key file but chain file is not there so i can remove this and instead of this uh, demo file so i'll put my original path home slash ubuntu slash my certificate uh, file name coding as dot in dot pm and it's same as and uh, certificate key file also copy and paste this is the key file so copy uh, the this one virtual host and paste it here yes paste now you can save it control x y enter yes now you have to enable the ssl uh, mode on apache so for that a2 en mode space ssl yes click enter yes it's enabled now so you have to restart the server service apache to restart yes enter so uh, this is uh, how you configure your ssl now you can check your domain coding x dot in yes yes it's working so now your uh, website is protected in both side like uh, traffic from your website to cloudflare and cloudflare to origin server thank you for watching for more videos please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching